Chicago Source Record, is it going the way of the dodo? I'm going to lay it all out for you in a segment that I'm calling... Avid 101! Hey, super quick. This is a video from my full Master Avid and my mini Avid online classes. If you are interested in doubling your job opportunities during this crazy time in our industry, check out the links below in the description for these classes. And now, here's your Avid tutorial. Okay, folks, let's jump right into it. Here we go. I have got my timeline. I've got my panel open and my waveforms turned on. And uh, if you forget how to get this panel out, it is right up here, right there under this little toggle, right there, track control panel, right next to your time code display. Boom. So now I've got my uh, waveforms on. If your waveforms are all off and you want to turn them all on at the same time, this is an old trick. Hold down Option or Alt if you're on a PC and click one waveform, they all turn on. There we go. So now we've got our waveforms up. Uh, if I go onto this clip, by the way, you'll notice I've got the audio mix tool out. You can get there by going to Tools, Audio Mixer. You're going to want that. You're going to need that for this. Uh, so here's my audio mixer. If you notice, I've got this panning left and right. I want these mid pan because it's dialogue and that's the way I roll. So just as a quick reminder, here you are. If you turn on the gangs right here, right, these little gang locks, and you hold down Alt or Option and you click right on the center dot of either one of these because you've ganged them together so they'll work in tandem. I'm going to hold down Option because I'm on a Mac uh, and I'm going to click that they mid pan. Boom. Now you got it. Okay, here we go. We've got our waveforms right here. They're all up. We've got all that done. Uh, before, if I wanted to adjust the levels in my timeline, I'd come over here to the audio mixer and I would pull these up or down, right? And I want these to move together. And so you can see as I move these sliders, nothing happens to the waveform, but we know because we're looking at the audio mix tool that now it's at minus 10.6, uh, just capriciously. Uh, but the waveforms don't move. You don't see these move up and down, but now you can, and let me show you how. Follow the bouncing ball all the way down to this bottom corner. And if we go to this fast menu in the bottom corner to waveform options, we've got a few choices now. We can say source level, and that shows you where the level's at on the source. We can go to uh, full height, and that is the full height of how the waveform apparently sounds visually. And we can go to waveform options and go to output levels. Output levels. Out Output levels. That's what we want right there. Output levels. I'm going to show you one more time. Output levels. Here we go. So now on output levels, watch this. When I move the way the sliders, it will move up and down. And you can see these move up and down with the sliders, giving you that visual. Brand new, thank you, Avid, that's awesome. Now, even though I have an in and an out around all three of these clips, it's only going to adjust the clip that my blue playhead is on. Uh, but, of course, you can come up here to the audio mix tool. I'm gonna move it into the middle just so we can see it a little better to this fast menu right here. And I can say set clip gain on track in to out. Uh, this old, this is not part of the new. The new is the uh, uh, output waveform so that they move. Uh, but if we come up here and we say set pan, or I'm sorry, set gain in this instance, uh, track in to out since I've got my, uh, my in around all three of these clips. Cashew loves audio work. Uh, I can do this and boom, you watch that and you see that it will adjust all of them and you see all the waveforms get bigger. Now let's say I pull this one all the way down to here. I come over here and I say set clip gain on track in to out. Boom, you see they all get smaller with it. So it gives you that visual just like it does in Premiere. In Premiere, it gives you that visual. So thank you, Avid 
for bringing us into the new millennium, uh, which is, of course, now 25 years old. But it's still new to me because I'm old AF. So here we go. Uh, now, before, I always have toggle source record right here on my source monitor. I also have it programmed to my keyboard. For me, I've programmed it, programmed it under shift tab. You do you, but that's where I do it. We remember it's also all the way down here at the bottom of your timeline down here, but uh, that was too far to travel for me. And I mostly use the keyboard shortcut, but just in case I was being lazy, I always like to keep it right here, toggle source record. And that was the only way previously that we could see the waveform of the source monitor. And now, if you notice, well, I don't know why only one, oh, because these are no longer ganged. Uh, let me undo that. Uh, let's turn that back to zero. Uh, and so you could, now that we have, again, we have uh, the waveform options on output levels, just by way of reminder, and this is panning left and right, they're ganged, so I'm going to hold down option and mid pan both of them uh, because that is my way with dialogue. Uh, but now watch, if I if I pull it up and I pull it down, we can still see that. And you know we've toggled source record because this is lit up green. This playhead is now green instead of blue. The selectors for the source side are green and this uh, this tick bar right here. I don't know what that's really called. Actually, I don't know its actual name. Uh, is also green. Green for source. Green for source. Green for source, right? So there you go. Uh, so, uh, so I would toggle source record and then I would adjust the sound accordingly. And, you know, of course, if you want to get in close and you're like, here's where I want to start the clip right when they say that, you can use your waveform to get right at the head of the word. Right, super handy. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to do that anymore. I'm gonna undo toggle source record. Watch what I'm gonna do. If we go up to tools and we grab our command palette, which is also under command three if you're on a Mac or control three if you're on a PC, we're gonna call up our command palette and we're gonna go to the play tab, to the play tab. And we're going to come all the way over here to show video waveform. I'm going to bring this down. And instead of toggle source record, I'm going to just step right over it. Actually, if we're being completely honest, I am, let me get rid of the command palette. Uh, if we're being completely honest, I am going to put this on a button on my keyboard. I recommend you do that too. But just for the visual, we're gonna put it right here on the source monitor. Now we've got this button here, show video waveform. We click this button and look what happens. Here it is. Here it is, the waveform in the source monitor. <sighs> craziness, it's craziness. Thank you, Avid. Thank you for updating that. So now we see the waveform here. You can use, uh, I guess natively, it's command bracket or control bracket, bracket if you're on a PC. Uh, I have it programmed to different buttons, but you do you. But now, right, we can see it. We can say this is exactly where I want that to start. Then we come down here and we click that button again, just like you would do on Premiere, right? So click the button, there it goes. Click the button, there it goes. Personally, I'm gonna map it to my keyboard. I love it. And now if you want to, you know, sometimes, Sometimes this stuff gets like too big and you can't see the nuance, right? So uh, if you do um, uh, option command L, it gets bigger. Option command K, it gets smaller. So you can adjust the height of your waveforms that way. Or I'm gonna guess uh, alt control K and L for a PC. Uh, I haven't used Avid on a PC in a minute, but that's going to be my guess. Uh, you can always Google that. Sorry, I didn't Google that for my PC buddies prior. But yeah, so you can, if you're, if you're looking at a waveform and it looks like that, 
Option Command K or Alt Control K and L gives you it bigger or smaller. It's not going to move when you adjust the uh, audio mix tool, but um, the way that it does in the timeline, but I feel like that's probably coming. I feel like I feel like that's a thing that they could do and that they probably should do, honestly, so that it matches, so that you see the effect on both sides. At any rate, let's just just take a moment and applaud Avid for giving us something new that is super duper useful. Thank you, Avid. Okay, look, things have been crazy in our industry for a few years now. If you're on the struggle bus, if you're looking to pivot to a different genre, hop on a free call with me. Let me help you out. 20 minute free consultation. Link is in the description. Let me help you. I want to get you where you want to go. I'm seeing cracks here and there in this chaos. Let me help you. Hop on a free call. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.